What's up guys, Creighton here from LogicLounge.com. Today we're going to be looking at the top features in Windows 8.1. There are a lot of cool and highly requested features in Windows 8.1. We're going to go over a few right now, so let's get started. The first one is the addition of a start button in Windows 8.1. If you're on the desktop, you'll now notice that you have this little Windows icon in the bottom left-hand corner. If you click it, it does not bring up the all programs, but it does bring you into the Metro interface so that you can use that as you wish. And you'll notice that if you do hover in the bottom left-hand corner while you're in the modern interface, may have called it Metro, but it's officially called modern, you'll see that start button come right back up so you can switch between desktop and the modern interface with one click. Now, another highly requested feature is that a lot of people don't like the modern interface, so they want to boot directly to the desktop. Well, in taskbar and navigation properties, you now have a checkbox to boot right into the desktop, which is a very highly requested feature for a lot of people not wanting to mess with the Metro interface or not having any use for the Metro interface at all. They have that easy peasy little way to get right into the desktop when they sign in. Now, there is improved search features within Windows 8.1. Uh, for example, let's search for a search term. Maybe let's search for fish. Why not? I'm using it. You, in the modern interface, you can start searching, and then you get this whole powered by Bing search feature where you get what people are also searching for and you get all sorts of results and it's in this nice modern interface that you can quickly browse through what you may be looking for, whether it's videos, whether it's a website, whether it's even pictures as well. They have expanded the search features of the embedded search within the modern interface. We also want to move on to our dual window. Uh, We've had dual window in Windows 8, but Microsoft has added the feature where you're not just limited to a small sidebar and a big uh, kind of other bar interface. You now have the ability, if I can get it, there we go, to have a full left and right hand shared dual screen. So if you have this um, bar here that you can slide over, you can maybe make that really small and make it really big or make that one really big and then that one really small. So you have a lot more options there when it comes to being able to uh, use the modern interface with the multiple windows and you can drag them around all you want. And then we can, of course, get rid of it back into how we like it. Moving on, we also have the new uh, modern store look. It's been updated, redesigned, has a lot more features uh, in it that uh, help you find applications, that helps you do a lot of stuff. And if I can actually find the application while I'm talking, that would be fantastic because I can't find it right now. Oh, I assume it's right here where it says essential apps. See, even I have issues in the modern interface. But you now see that it has this new store interface having featured apps on the left, and then you can scroll through where there's picks for you, where they think, oh, you, we think you'll like this. We also see trending as well, new and rising. So you have all these added um, features into the store that you haven't had previously with Windows 8. Now, of course, we do have more settings in modern. And when I say more settings in modern, I'm talking about how you now have more uh, granular controls in the settings uh, for still being in the modern interface without leaving it. Uh, for example, uh, we'll move into the next one uh, that I have here, and I can kind of show you this, so it'll be kind of a two-in-one. So I'm going to search for uh, the SkyDrive settings, and you'll see that I can bring up the SkyDrive settings. And you'll see I have a huge list of all of these device settings. You have uh, better controls that you can stay within the modern interface while you are messing with these features, while you are uh, changing them. You are not going between the desktop experience and the modern experience. You are basically staying fully in this modern experience. Now back to SkyDrive. I was talking about SkyDrive a little bit earlier. There are more sync controls now with SkyDrive. You can now sync more settings. You can sync more of your data between SkyDrive so that when you are 
on, uh, let's say, a different Windows 8 computer that you can sync your settings across them with uh, your personalization settings, your app settings. You can have them synced across your PCs. They now have introduced more settings into that to allow you uh, to have a bit better uh, of a time with modern. I also want to make a brief mention that Internet Explorer has gotten a brief update. We've outline this in a full video, so I'm not going to talk about it much. You can actually go view that video and see all the new cool features in Internet Explorer 11. So let's move on now to the same Metro and desktop wallpaper. Now, before you had a clear distinction between modern and you have a clear distinction through your desktop. Well, you can blur those lines now with having the same desktop background. That, of course, is found in your personalization settings within modern. You can set it as your same desktop background. You can see I just set it as my same desktop background. So when I go between the desktop, when it is not uh, selected, you can see I go th between my desktop and modern, there's not much of a blurred line there. It's kind of an added feature, it feels like now, on top of what's already there. So you're not feeling that separation between both of them. And last but not least, let's talk about the Helps and Tips app. So if you're having trouble with Windows 8.1, if you're having any issues navigating the interface, Microsoft has so graciously added an application just for you to answer those types of questions it's called helps and tips and it will be found in the modern interface. It will be a default installed app when you do upgrade to 8.1. You can open it up and you are greeted with a very nice looking actually application where you can figure out what you want to do and you can figure out how to do it in the best way possible. So Microsoft is trying to get people more familiarized with Windows 8.1. So they're adding this feature. You can also search windows.com for more information if you're trying to find something and you can't find it here. You know, it's beautiful looking. It, it's very uh, explainative. I know that's not a word, but I'm using it. Explainative. It's, uh, it explains very well everything and it's a nice way to introduce people to the new Windows 8.1 and get them a little bit more accustomed to the look and feel of it. So there you guys go, the top new features for Windows 8.1. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, all you guys do to be the best that you are. We really do appreciate it. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to comment along with us as well. We really do appreciate it. Once again, my name is Craig Miller, and we'll see you guys in our next video.